it's my fifth Toe Jam this year, so it's kind of crazy, all the weird games that I've played since I've joined here. I do the jam every year with my brother. Um, my brother's a programmer, my brother Andrew, he's fantastic at it, and he runs with all my weird ideas, which is great. So I come up with the weird shit, and he says, okay, and he makes it happen. So we're, we're a good team like that. It's the one thing that I look forward to doing with him every year, because we don't, we're in very different field. So the fact that we get to come together on our mutual love of games and make something together is super fun for me. So my name is uh, Nick Rudic. I'm from Montreal, uh, game developer out there. Uh, I work with a team called Co-op Mode. In fact, we have several artists and several programmers and several designers. And we all came down here to Toronto for, uh, for Toe Jam. We've all been here for four or five years uh, together as Co-op, maybe the past uh, two, three years. And that's what we're here for. I think 10 years is so long, you know. I've only been doing games for like two, two and a half years, um, and it still feels so new. And so it's so cool to have a jam that's 10 years old and to like think back on how it was 10 years ago. And, and there were still like indie, alt, creative people doing games. It's amazing. It's great in Toronto that, that this exact jam has been going on. I had a few like, uh, Twitter friends, uh, as well as Montreal friends who would come out to, to Toronto for Toe Jam. Um, I'd heard about it as this, you know, an excellent game making uh, experience and I was sort of fresh to game design as a full-time job basically and I thought this would be sort of a good way to just try something completely experimental and without too much investment in it, I guess. One thing that uh, a lot of people do when they get into game design is they have their perfect game in mind and they spend years on this and it doesn't go anywhere. Um, and that can be a bit disappointing or uh, a little bit depressing. But if you come to a, an event like this, you're gonna come out of it two days later, maybe not with a, a fully polished game, but you'll have something finished. And that is actually extremely motivating. What's my crazy game? My crazy game is called Chef Octoplatypus. You play as Craig, the octoplatypus, who is a hybrid octopus slash platypus and he believes he is the greatest chef in the world and the only other creature that can beat him is himself. So in this game, you compete against yourself. Um, so each team takes half the octoplatypus and they compete against each other in a bid to create a recipe the fastest and whoever creates it the fastest wins. I mean, ultimately Craig wins, but it's a matter of which half of him wins. The mechanic is pretty well thought out beforehand, we're like, okay, we're gonna make a game about physically doing stunts as if you're on a unicycle doing stunts. Okay, that's, that's a game idea, and then that's what's, uh, what Bronson is working on today. And then it's just a matter of uh, finding, you know, what worked during that first day, what didn't, not worry too much about whether or not it's polished perfectly, and just, just getting that basic mechanic down. And once you've got that, then it's you just iterate on that over and over again until you're like, okay, this is fun, but this level doesn't show it off. So let's like change the level around so that it has you know, something to show off your cool stunt. We chose um, a game that we're calling Brightest Day, Longest Night. And it's uh, the one where the, the sun is expanding. You're controlling like the defense of each planet and you're trying to stop the sun from destroying your planet. So you like control and like shoot and try to have a defense and stop it from growing and killing your world. Toe Jam is sort of the perfect, perfect constraint for us, perfect little time block to say, okay, look, we're gonna take a weekend, work on this crazy idea that we've had, uh, see how far it takes us. If we can find the fun in two days, then probably it's an interesting project. It's incredibly important for an event like this to happen in Toronto and for it to be the 10th because I'd say about 10 years ago, there wasn't anything like this. There was barely a game development community here in the city and there were very few people when there was and uh, it was very close and tight knit. And so over the years, as the community and the industry started expanding in Toronto, then more people started coming in, weirdos like me, who just decided we wanted to do something fun and crazy and see if it was possible to make a game, just came together in a place like this at, at something like Toe Jam to be able to do something like that. I never thought I'd be able to make a game. It's, it's fun to be part of it. 